to be an open review of all of my eyeliners, pencil and liquid, for To Be Shrink 101. So I'm going to start with Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx, which is black, and it's a retractable. It's one that sharpens itself as you advance the product. This one I bought at Dollar Tree for a buck. I bought it because it was waterproof and I thought that it would be a long wear on the waterline. It is a little bit longer wear on the waterline than um, any of the other uh, eyeliner pencils I have, but it does still, I mean, it's not like an eight hour, six hour, <laughs> nothing like that. Um, and with the name Unstoppable and its claims to be waterproof, you would think that it would wear longer. On the lash line now, it was fine. Um, I didn't have any bleeding or anything like that. And it's going to be this first swatch right here. Let's give it the smudge test. Didn't smudge that much. It's smudging a little. Um, then I have Avon Perfect Wear in Navy Night is another retractable but it does not sharpen as you advance the product the deep blue it's been some time since I've wore this one there's the swatch there smudge test pretty good really good um, I bought this one particularly because I like the color um, yeah that smudge test is really good it's better than the Maybelline unstoppable that one, I do not remember what I paid for it. it. I've had it for quite a while, actually. And then I got the LA Color Auto Eyeliner in number 8893, which is black. I have not used this one. I bought it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, same time that I bought the Maybelline, just to try a couple of different ones. Um, this one does not sharpen as you advance the product. It is right here, and I did notice when I was swatching it, this review is on the swatch. Oh, smudges horribly, almost completely gone. Um, I noticed also that the line, if you're looking for a fine line, this isn't it. Because this was brand new when I did the swatch on my hand. I'd never used it before, never swatched it before, and it was a pretty good, a pretty wide line. All the other ones seem on the swatches to be as wide, but I actually swiped them to be that wide. That one I didn't have to. Then the Ramel London Coal Pencil in Jet Black number 061. Almost gone. Um, and it needs to be sharpened. And it's going to be right here. Again, black. Let's do the smudge test. Ooh! Yeah. That one smudges completely almost gone, too. And it didn't really seem to bleed from the lash line. It didn't last that long on the water line. Uh, but it didn't seem to bleed that bad from the lash line. But again, when I would wear pencil liner, I would put the same color or a similar color shadow on top of it to make it look more of an even application, I guess you would say. More... It made it look more like a cream liner, to be honest. So, um, and I've heard that, I just did that because of the look that it gave. I have heard that that also extends the wear of it and keeps it from smudging. So, that may be why it didn't smudge on me. My next section is going to be Wet n Wild. The Wet n Wild. There's two different types, even though they're both like 99 cents. I purchased these at Walgreens. They have the plastic coating on them, just like the pencil at the tip, or they have the wooden, plain wooden tip, no plastic coating. The ones with the plastic co coating, which are actually the coal eyeliners, are a lot better than the ones without. without also claim to be a coal liner. <coughs> now, 
first is white number 656A. This one, um, it goes on white, and I'm sure it's going to smudge because I'm not giving it a chance to dry, so I probably won't continue to do the smudge test on uh, all of these. Not the Wet n Wild, not the Love My Lips. I'm not going to do the smudge test on those just because I know they will smudge. Um, but uh, it goes on pretty white. It's a decent application. You do have to put a little pressure to it. Um, not a lot, but a little. Then I'm going to go to 659C Turquoise. Uh, and these, uh, these two do have great color payoff. It's a really pretty turquoise color. Um, some shimmer to it. Uh, about the same type of application as the white. You have to, you know, you have to apply just a little bit more pressure than uh, with other pencils. Now is number 658. No color name, just number. Now these, you have to apply quite a bit of pressure. You have to continually go over it. It's not an even application. And these are the, these, this one and the next one, <coughs> I'm sorry, are going to be the ones that have the wooden end tip that I was talking about. For both of these, you're going to have to apply more pressure. They don't go on even, but they're 99 cents. You can't expect a lot from something that's a buck. Uh, the Love My Eye pencils I purchased at Walmart. And I think they're either 89 or 99 cents. This one's going to be number 810C Green. It's a really pretty greenish blue. This one is pretty difficult. It's got a lot of shimmer, but it is very difficult to apply. This is another one that I got and I tried to use and got thrown back in there and not used. This is the Love My Eye Eyeliner Duo in 1061 Outspoken. has a black side. Um, surprisingly, this one's pretty creamy and glides on. I've considered uh, going back. These are a little bit more expensive. I think they may be like a buck twenty-nine or something like that maybe. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But I have actually thought about going back and trying some more of these. This one is purple and it's iridescent. Uh, beautiful shimmer in that beautiful bright purple. Love that pencil. Now these are going to be my NYX's and unfortunately I have not used these yet because I bought the hip and since I bought the hip I have not used anything else. So um, these uh, swatch, you know, these are going to be based on the swatches. And some of them are actually the lip liners because I like the colors and I want them for eyeliners. This one is 908 Seafoam Green, and it is one of the eyeliner pencils. Um, pretty creamy, goes on pretty easily. Gorgeous color, it's got a little bit of iridescent shimmer in it. This one's going to be one of the lip liners, and it's 824 in orange. This is a really pretty, I'm sorry I keep forgetting to show the pencil before the swatch. Um, this is a really pretty orange. It's almost close to a shade of burnt orange. And then um, this one is an eyeliner, number 905 Silver. Now this one doesn't seem to be as creamy. It seems like it's going to be a little bit difficult to apply. Um, not that it would tug on the eyes, but that, you know, you may have to apply with a just a little bit more pressure. Um, and it's, of course, silver. Very pretty shimmer to that. 